All right, we're back. This time with water. Uh, neither racer is online, so that's good. Oh, just kidding. They're both online. Ha <laughs> ha! Condor season 12, week four. Got a matchup between Ochre and Spritty Ha. And I need a timer and all these things. Uh, Ochre with a record of 143 to 37. Best win of 553, average 846. And uh, Spreeha with a record of 9 and 9, with a best win of 758. And an average win of 9 minutes flat. All the nines. It's pretty hot to the nines. And uh, I think we got the seed sent to him. DLHFs, here we go. Race number one out of three with the countdown. And we're in. Early trap door. Oker's gonna take it. Spreeha's gonna take it. Don't fight a dragon. Got a black chest for Oker. It's a base longsword. Gonna pick it up. Looks like maybe a potion room down by ochre spreeha going the other direction on this level and it is going to be a potion ochre just going to cut through and have the minotaur help him out feels good uh spreeha might be able to get it without a bomb since they'll have the uh minotaur coming here yeah looks like that's the plan uh, maybe not well, they might not recognize the potion yet it should now though but ochre's already into your zone one boss that's going to be fortissimal taking it out with the long sword gonna get it and spreeha will get that potion without a bomb very nice black chest check for ochre we got the glass whip who's been practicing their whip strats not okay i was gonna say not ochre because they Found a base spear, but they're gonna stay on the whip. I think that's fine. Looks like Spreeha is gonna do a bit of farming in 1 3. And I suppose if you're of the attitude you can't keep up with Ochre, might as well make a build for when they die. Blood shovel grab and a torch for Ochre in, uh, what was that, 2 1? one shop and here's the fortissimal fight for Spreeha we'll see if they go well they did not get flawless yeah flanked by some ghosts there and then there's the shrine of darkness for ochre right next to a shop with uh, that pink shovel and a titanium flail so no more glass here Spreeha is going to switch to that base spear, though. A bit of an upgrade from the dagger. Probably hoping to get on the uh, pretty much same build there for Ochre. And potion's gone for Spreeha. Got hit by some spores from that mushroom. And Ochre on a blood rapier now. Into the zone 2 boss. Going to be death metal. few lunges here we'll get it done there's the shrine for spreeha and now we're all in the darkness shield scroll and the purple chest for ochre 
trying to pain on 3-1. Probably not going to do anything with that. I mean, it's a, it's a way to swap off this. Yeah, we are going <laughs> to do something. We're going to take a hit by uh, that goblin, and then we are going to get a full courage build uh, with a glass longsword, though, for ochre. Let's see if they go back for that blood rapier. You're not going to stay on the glass. So there's conjure here. Spreeha into uh, the uh, death metal fight. Rocking the titanium flail. Ochre found a darkness conjure on 3 1, so they'll get whatever weapon they want here. Unfortunately, it's on dash 1, so it might be a while. You see all these base weapons, that's dash 1 for you. And Spreeha doing a bit of a catch up here. We're on the same floor now. Oh, I hate this. Okay, Glass Cat, I guess. Okay, blowing some stuff up so we can roll for more. Meanwhile, Spreeha gonna take the lead. Down into 3 2 first, finding a mosh pit. Check it back in with Ochre once they're done conjuring. Now the shop's right near Spree Eye here, but they finished on the stairs, so they'll be down to 3-3. Three, three. All right, Ochre's out of it. Heavy glass and a glass cat is uh, the play of the game. Definitely be able to catch up with that. Uh, Spreeha is going to need a different weapon here. It's going to be pretty snaggy going into zone 4. And Ochre's, yeah, caught up already. See how strong that uh, once you make a build out of your Darkness Conjurer. I think that was flawless for Spreha, yeah. Gonna get uh, a Ring of War, so three damage. Bunch of vision as well. Into zone four, we both go. A bit, of, a bit better routing here from Ochre. Gonna miss that. Cave shop does take one hit there though. Two more on that heavy glass. Just ate a spider there is delicious, delicious spooter. Really good uh, goo attack there for Ochre. Fought the uh, Ghoulum on the stairs and. Uh, who can't spawn there, so that was really nice. Spreeha getting a Telemonkey back to the beginning of 4-2. And Ochre's gonna pull super far ahead there, down into for uh, King Kanga, your zone four. Bossarino. Gonna do an Azuma strat there, and should be able to courage down the Monkey. And Spreeha taking a mystery shrine. Gonna get a war bow. It's less snaggy than a flail, I suppose. It looks like Oker is going to push this lead in zone five. Full mapping and uh, the pink shovel. We can just go right to the exit and snipe the boss. Hardly even interact with any other enemies on the floor. And stake cat strats on this dead ringer fight. Into Necronancer. Spreeha does make it down to 5 2, finds a conjurer, gonna get a different weapon eventually here. Zap dagger, we did it. Uh, 
Phase two though for Oker. Looking to collect the first loot. And looks like that's gonna be the end result here. Eight forty four race time, GG's. All right, next season, gonna make it so if you have darkness, you can't enter transmute or conjure. Fair and balanced. <laughs> Seed number two in the pipeline. Early cracked wall. And your blood shop's gonna have obsidian longsword and Spreehaw rolled for it. It's gonna have to reset. Got the bad teleport. Look, we're just gonna go up the middle. And get a, a safe throw there. Looks like we're gonna get one extra heart as well. Magic carrot. Spreeha will get the same build, but gonna take a trap door down to one, two. Ochre did find an extra bomb on the level though. both in one two need to get a multiplier up to get this crate or just push it onto the trap and a black skeleton in it gross be a leprechaun grab here for spree uh and then they'll be into your zone one boss it's gonna be coral rift Gonna be a longer fight here with no bomb to activate it. Here's a locked shop on 1-3. Oak are gonna get the ballet shoes, a really good combination with obsidian. It always keeps your multiplier at three, so your obsidian stuff's gonna dish out some damage. And then we're gonna bomb a mystery shine for a mystery ring. It's not peace, it's not gold. Trying to figure out what it is here. And a ring of luck grab for Spree, huh? Uh, looks like might or strength. I'm sorry, might or war. Doing four damage. Good activation there for Ochre. Not just, well, they dropped the beat, but the ballet shoes allowed them to not drop the beat, so it's still considered a flawless. Goes Red Chest, finds a Luminous Torch. Spreehaw found a Battle Shovel here in Zone 2. Really good use of it there on those double dirt golems. And into Death Metal, just as the song ends. It's the Falls victory. And check in purple here, finds an earth spell. Pretty great offensive and defensive spell, depending on how you're utilizing it. Another good battle shovel kill there on the blue dragon. Down to 3-2 for Spreeha, just as Ochre gets into the death metal fight. Should be an easy blood drum kill. Gets it. Oh, monster shopkeep there for Spreeha. It's got pulse in it, heavy glass, and two hearts. Take all of those things, thank you. Ochre on this horizontal blue dragon. Handles it.
and we'll, so I imagine they'll go to that shop too. It's pretty close. Pretty far away from Oh, uh, Spree Hot going the wrong way here, and that's gonna map level out for Ochre. Ochre can even see the exit there. Missing a trapdoor there for Spree Hot. Fire Elemental covering up, but finds the actual door here. In it shortly. After figuring out this ice. There you go. Transmute again for Elker. We're gonna get a shovel and a ring. Gonna end up with the big dig and ring of peace. Before moving on. There's one hit off of Spriha's Heavy Glass, dealing with the Blade Masters. No Boots of Pain, those aren't going to do anything though for your longsword, so leaving them on the ground. Another hit there, Glass Bib for Spriha. Spider coming in. And Ochre coming in as well, catching up quickly here good earth there that kept their heavy glass full I'd like to see more pulses yeah pulses and earths from Spreeha really good earth there it's getting a bit surrounded sorted it out and pretty good exit there too in the 4-3 And Ochre having a difficult problem, yeah, getting in those stairs. So, Spreeha attacking that Pixie just wants to go, I imagine. Nice Pixie help there, though. Yeah, Earth doesn't work on stairs, but it blocked that other Blade Master. Ochre taking a few dunks here. Using Earth to kind of cut off these Blade Masters. We'll eventually get to the exit. Deep Blue is your zone 4 boss. Just seen Earth. Yeah, from Spreeha. Into zone 5, and we're going to have a sprint to the end. No bombs for either racer. We do have the blood drum, so if we can keep our health high, we should be able to utilize that. Good pulse there for Spreeha. Getting kind of cornered by all these enemies, though, and that's going to allow Ochre to take the lead. In the 5-2, just a few beats ahead. Does find a trap door right away. Oh, and a heal right next to it. Gonna drumstick as we fall. Pretty good. Really like to have that extra health. We're both in the 5-3 at the same time. There's a potion here. It's like we're gonna skip it for Ochre. Spreehaw's gonna hop in there. Now you just blood magic everything. Here's a left side spawn for Deadringer. Poker's gonna set up a blood drum hit. Or an earth hit, I don't know. Earth hit there, I guess. Worked, flawless, easy life. Spree hunt into it. <sighs> blood drummed t way too many times, but <laughs> gets it through. Also took a dragon hit, gonna pop their potion, but has enough health to uh, get into the thing. And phase two for Ochre. Big Dig helping uh, out a, a lot there. You have, don't have to dig as much as uh, Spreeha did. And Ochre's gonna wrap this one up right at the end. Two hits left for Spreeha when Ochre enters the stairs. And Spreeha spamming false spell all right one more in this set though
And countdown's on. Here we go. Race number three between Ochre and Spreeha. Stack up bombs for both. Bunch of subrooms on this one one. Eventually find a black chest with uh, leather armor in it. And head into one two. Shop check for ochre on one two is gonna get a compass and a backpack. Bill Spreeha found a shrine of war, gonna bomb that for the ring. Plus one damage and knockback. And there's a armor swap for ochre getting on the courts. Another trapdoor for Spreeha. Gonna be into death metal. Your zone one boss first. Good use of the war to pin that dragon against the wall. And into this fight. Booker's gonna find that shrine as well. Gonna bomb for it. Hit the ring. Flawless victory for Spreeha. Checking black chest for a weapon. I like you do when you're on base dagger still. It's a glass spear. So five damage spear into zone two. And there's an enchant scroll for Ochre. Gonna get electric dagger on the enchant. So they'll be able to check purple chest, amongst other things. Checking the shop here. Gonna get a infernal torch. No, I'm gonna grab the drumstick. And Spree has broken their glass spear. So now on the glass shard. And Ochre even using a Shriner there to get one extra heart out of the Shrine of Peace. More Quartz value. Terrible set of traps here for Spreeha. We'll finally get to that Glass Torch in the red chest. Bomb spell in the purple for Ochre after that boss fight. Conga for Spreeha, your zone two boss. Should be able to bomb. Get into phase two. Look at that electric dagger doing work for Ochre. Cleared out that entire exit room there. All well, victory for Spreeha will be back onto that black chest looking to replace their weapon. And it's a glass rapier. Okay. I mean, Rapier War works really well together, but we're on glass again, so it's a bit worrisome. Ochre is going to do some shopping along the side. Get a Blast Helm and Explore Boots. Imagine they see their opponents keep getting glass, so betting on that that'll break. And a really long 3-1 here for Spreeha went in the incorrect direction, even though they do have mapping. And now they're retreating. And there goes the glass. Yeah, needed to retreat just one more space there. Not lock themselves in. And Ochre, betting correctly, I'll have a much better build. Going into zone three, even finds a shield spell in the purple chest. Here's a shop for Spreeha though. One bomb and Ring of War gonna let us get a heavy plate, gold rapier, and uh, a freeze tome. Freeze uh, scroll even. Did see an obsidian spear for Spreeha. Gonna stay on the uh, gold rapier. I think that's fine. 
in a three damage lunge with knockback. And Spree out looking a bit flustered here. Checking the shop after they just, just killed the shopkeep. And Ochre into zone three boss for Tissimol. Use that Electro Dagger. Spree out just behind. It's the flawless. And Ochre pushing really well here. Finds a Conjure, gonna go for a Torch, gets a Strength Torch. So even some more damage here. And really gonna push ahead here, it seems. Into 4-3 before Spreeha's even done with 4-1. Spreeha did find a heal spell though. Very nice. And lead boots. One last pixie kiss for Ochre before headed down to deep blues. Gonna throw bomb here, looks like. Good play. Spreeha getting a bit caught up there at the 4 2 exit. Down to a heart and a half, but with the heavy plate and uh, the heal spell, should be able to stay alive. But will they be able to catch up for Ochre? Don't think so. Ochre at the 5 1 exit now. Here's the uh, Deep Blues fight for Sprack. Uh, Spreak should be able to go up the middle with Gold Kill. Not going to though. Uh, maybe wouldn't have worked there. Five three for Ochre. Gonna use that compass to see where the exit is. Just gonna go straight towards the arrow and into Dead Ringer. It's Rhea into Zone Five. It's a left side spawn. Gonna do some lures. Kind of messing this up a little bit. It looks like Spree has given up. It's gonna watch the rest of the show here. Bring a war hit. No, we're gonna drag him down and up. Plenty of bombs and a blood shovel. There you have it, phase two. Ochre. A few lures and it'll be a sweep. Finishing at 8.37. GG's.